Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture 18. So we're gonna continue today in you know, our uh, circuit analysis with, with transistors. So last time we see a circuit, you know, this circuit was working in the active region, okay, which is practically this circuit here, okay, it's exactly the same circuit, but I just changed, you know, the, uh, the node voltage, the base voltage from four to 10, okay? So exactly the same example, exactly the same. Only one change. The change is, I change the base voltage from four volt to 10 volt. With four volt, we solved the example last, le uh, last lecture and last recording, last video. And we found it's, it was working in the active region and it, everything was fine, okay? Now let's see uh, what's gonna happen if we increase the base voltage to 10, okay? So we're gonna again assume, look at the circuit, the circuit, you know, the VBE here, the voltage between the base and the emitter. There is a source that can give it, you know, the 0 0.7, which is basically the 10 volt here. Okay, so let's assume active. So assume active region. Okay, if we are in the active region, the VBE is 0 0.7, and we know that IC should be equal to beta IB. Okay, I'm gonna assume. Then we kind of, you know, again, prove or disprove, okay? Good. So, look, the base here is, is basically 10 volt. This point, the base is 10 volt. Then how about the emitter? Since VBE is equal to 0.7, so this is basically equal to VB minus VE. So we can calculate VE from here. So VE will be uh, 10 minus 0.7, it will be 9.3 volt. Good. Now, IE equal to VE, this point minus this point, which is zero, over RE. So 9.3 over uh, RE, 3.3 .3 kilo ohms. Okay, this will give us 2.81 volt. I'm sorry, milliampere. We know that IC equal to beta over beta plus one IE, or what we call alpha plus sign IE, which is around 0 0.99 times 2.81 milliampere. This is basically 2.79 milliampers okay good now let's calculate vc vc is uh, the node voltage this is the collector voltage which is basically uh, you see here ic is flowing in that direction so the voltage across the resistor rc in that direction so uh, vc is basically 10 minus ic rc or you can say that IC is equal to 10 minus VC over RC, then you know, uh, you can reach the same equation here. Okay, good. So 10 minus uh, 2.79 times RC, which is uh, 4.7 kilo ohms minus 3.11. Minus. Okay, that's fine. VC can be minus, you know, there is no problem in that. But to verify that we are working really in the active region, let's check VBC. So VBC now, this is a moment of truth, if we are correct or, or not correct. VBC, which should be greater than uh, 0.4 in active region is equal to VB minus VC. VB is 10, VC is minus 3.11. So this is basically 13.11 volt. It's basically greater than 0.4. So the assumption is incorrect. The assumption is incorrect. Why? Because VBC is greater than 0.4. Good. So what we're gonna do now, okay? So if the, uh, if the operation uh, region is not active, it might be cut off. 
but it might be saturation. We have still two, you know, two probabilities or two options. Okay. Again, we look at the circuit, you know, and try to guess. Uh, in cutoff, IB is zero, IC is zero, IE is zero. Everything is zero, zero, you know. And this happens if there is no biasing, if there is no source to give the VBE point, it's 0.7, the B, it's a B in the junction, the diode, okay? But we still have the 10 volt here, right? So, and if we look again at the, you know, at the, uh, at our first assumption, you know, if, if you look at the analysis and the numbers, you know, all the current are positives, you know, positive current. So it's basically working in saturation. Okay, again, we're gonna assume and again, proof or disprove. Okay, so assume them. Let's do that with another color uh, green. Assume saturation region. Okay, so in saturation region, we still have VBE equal to 0.7, but IC should be less than. Beta IB, and we also have another given that VCE is 0.2 because basically you have the two junctions uh, forward and on one junction. The basic middle junction is 0.7. The other junction, you know, is it's greater than 0.4. It's less forward than the basic middle junction. Okay, so it might have a 0.5 or something, which is the base collector junction. So VCE will be 0.2, which is VBE minus VBC. Okay. So let's continue on that. Good. So we're gonna see that there is no change in IE because IE is again since since VBE is 0.7, this is basically equal to VB minus uh, VE. So from that VE again is 9.3 because still VB is equal to 10. So 10 minus 0.7 is 9.3. So IE is still the same. IE is still the same, uh, which is uh, 2.81 milliampers. Okay. But now we cannot say that IC is equal to alpha IE. No. Not again, because this is saturation. We know that IC is less than beta IB. Okay. So what's what's what we're going to do? Let's see how we're going to do that. We know now VCE. We know the voltage now between these two nodes is 0.2. And we know VE. And we know that VCE is basically VC minus VE. So this is equal to 0.2. And VC is unknown for us. But VE, we know VE. It is 9.3 volt. So from that, VC is equal to 9.5. Nine point five volt. Good. So I see, which is flowing from the battery ten to the collector, it's equal to ten minus VC over RC equal to ten minus nine point five over RC, which is uh, four point seven kilo, uh, kilo kilo ohms, four point seven kilo. So this will give us 0.5 uh, over 4.7, which is 0.016 milliampers. Very small. Look, it was, how much it was? It was in the beginning 2.79 milliampers. Now it's 0.106 milliampers, okay? And there's a moment of truth. To check that we are really working in the saturation region, we have basically two checks, by the way, you know? Uh, I'm sorry, one check. So now the moment of truth, we should check now if we are really working in saturation region. And our check is known. Basically, we check that condition. IC should be less than beta IB. So let's do that. Let's do that. So IC, we know it. It is going to 106 milliampers. Okay. How about beta IB? We don't know IB, but we still have equations that we didn't use. That IE all the time. Saturation, active or even cut off, it will be zero plus zero equal to zero. That IB is equal to IC plus IB. This is working in all regions. 
You know, this is valid in all regions. So, uh, so beta IB is basically beta, and the IB from that equation is IE minus IC. Okay, good. So 100, and the IB is 281, uh, IC is uh, 0.106. So this is basically 100, and this is basically around 2.704. Yes, 704, okay, which is basically 270.4 uh, milliamperes. Beta IB still have the dimension of amperes or milliamperes because beta is dimensionless. But IB is, is, is you know, has a dimension, which is amperes. And apparently very, it's very clear that 0.016 is less than, you know, uh, 270 milliamperes, okay? So that's, so the assumption is correct. Okay, and our uh, our uh, transistor is working in the saturation region. Okay, guys, that's it for this circuit. In the next video, we're gonna explore, I know, another circuit. Okay, but now working in the cutoff, and we're gonna see, you know, uh, using our analysis how we can deal with such sets. Thank you very much for watching this video, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.